What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a review for you on the PS3 Slim. If you want to see what this looks like, check out my comparison video when I put the Slim up against, well I guess the fat PS3, so you can see the difference in the size, the ports, and where things are located. I've been asked a few questions via Twitter and email that I really want to make sure I address in this review. The first issue is the noise. The PS3 Slim is very, very, very quiet. The PS3, the original, wasn't terribly loud, but this version is noticeably quieter. When the Blu-ray spins, you hardly hear anything. When you first put a disc in, it's almost silent. It is a very, very quiet machine. The next question I've been asked quite a bit is heat. I know the PS2 Slim had a lot of heat issues. There was overheating and there were some problems. The PS3 Slim does not have any of those heat issues. I let it run for nine hours straight, just, I put a Blu-ray movie in, I let it go, I put a game in and I just let it play, and I did not have any heat issues. There seems to be extra venting in the back to help well, sort of offlay those heat problems that maybe the other slim consoles have had. So if that was one of your concerns or one of the things holding you back, don't worry. If you like the PS3, and you like the operating system, and you like being able to play Blu-ray movies, and being able to play some great games in high definition, you're going to like the PS3 Slim. It does exactly the same thing, just in a smaller package. What you might not like, though, is the design. It's been very polarizing. People are either saying it looks cheap, they don't like the matte finish that Sony put on it, they don't like the fact that it doesn't say PlayStation, they miss the touch buttons. You know, there are a lot of things that people can go one way or another on the design. Personally, I'm a minimalist. I like the smaller design. Even from an engineering standpoint, I'm impressed that Sony was able to really put everything that the PS3 has into such a small package. So while I like the piano black glossy finish of the fatty version better, I prefer the slim version just for, well, almost from a, like I said, an engineering and a design standpoint. But both are going to work. Both have hard drives that are easily swappable. You know, you can get a size match on either of them. Feature for feature, they're exactly the same. If you take out the launch 60 gigabyte version that had the card readers and the four USB ports. What you're not gonna get with the PS3 Slim is backwards compatibility. You're not going to get any backwards compatibility, unfortunately, with PlayStation 2 titles. The initial launch console, the 60 gigabyte, I believe it was $600, had the backwards compatibility. That was the only PlayStation 3 that had that. So there's no emulation, no hardware support, you're not gonna be able to PlayStation, play PlayStation 2 games. One thing that's also missing, actually, from the PlayStation Slim that actually all the fatty consoles had is the ability to install third-party operating systems. You used to be able to install Linux and actually use it like a computer since it's certainly as powerful as one, but that's gone with the PlayStation 3 Slim. Perhaps it can be added via some sort of software update, I don't know, but right now it's not there. If that was something you were looking to do, definitely keep in mind that you're not going to be able to do that on the Slim console. You're also not going to have a power switch in the back, but that shouldn't bother you since the PlayStation Slim uses, I think, a third less power than the fatty version. But if a uh, power switch is important to you, then the fatty one is the way to go. The operating system looks just the same. The games perform just the same. The Blu-ray discs load just as fast. Really, it's almost exactly the same thing in just a smaller package. So, should you get the Slim over the fat? Well, that's really going to come to you, and it's probably going to be from a pure aesthetic standpoint. If you want the bigger hard drive, you know, it's nice to have the 120 that's already in there. But, you know, like I said, it's easily swappable. It doesn't void your warranty. You can go ahead and put a new hard drive in without any problem. This isn't really an Xbox versus PlayStation 3 debate, but I will say that the PlayStation 3's 100% price drop makes it a very, very appealing console, especially now for $300. You're getting the ability to play some great games at high definition. You're getting probably one of the best Blu-ray players out there that's firmware upgradable. And you know Sony's going to keep offering support for it well into the, probably the next decade. And you're also getting really an entertainment console. It's an upscaling DVD player and does quite a lot of things. So you're getting a lot of value into one package. Definitely something to keep in mind if you're on the fence about the PlayStation. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Are you going to get the PlayStation 3 Slim? Do you like the Slim version over the fat? You know, what is your take on the PlayStation 3 Slim? Leave some comments or video response. I'm curious to what you guys have to say. Anyway, for exclusive content, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.